we are in the sky and we are going to do the shrine in the sky. We've completed the Hebra boss, the wind temple. Now we are with the stick on a stick stick. It is possibly the coolest thing that I have seen so far. It might even be cooler than my ruins on a stick. <laughs> this game is awesome. This was my best weapon. <laughs> and now this is my best weapon. <laughs> um, I'm playing in a very specific way in order to encourage myself to take more risks. And a huge portion of that is using my best weapon. Oops. Um, intentionally. Uh, with basically no... Um, consideration of durability, etc. And the premise for it is that I want to become better at taking risks. And I am using um, video games, I have a thesis that video games can be um, taken as a tool to lower the distance between um, where I am at and where I want to be in any given uh, game environment. So here, Let's see, no, I'll use the bigger one. Here, the goal, the skill that I want to get better, be, better at is about taking um, unprotected risks. So I'm usually the overthinky type, like a lot. And I like planning, I like strategizing, and some will say that I will, uh, I have enough of these already, I will um, uh, optimize the fun out of something, which there are definitely times for that. Uh, Investing is sometimes like that. Um, uh, that's been um, good for me, let's say, uh, in that area. But um, when you're playing a video game, or if you're doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, or if you are, you know, any number of activities where, um, no, no, that's not, I want the bomb. Bomb. That like, you know, just 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 do it, man. Um, yeah, so any number of activities where it is beneficial to just push ahead and you don't need to overthink it, you don't need to worry too much. And that those kinds of um, practice opportunities are rare in real life where the stakes are not, um, how do I turn this thing on? There we go. So having opportunities where the stakes are not so high risk or where it is feasible. Watch this. Come on. There we go. And then we will time travel. This skill is very cool. I like it a lot. There. This was like too easy. Did I miss a chest or something? And then an elevator? Yes. Okay. Nice. Well done, me. Well done, guys. Thank you for your help and your collaboration and your inspiration. You're an inspiration. Leave a comment. Like and subscribe. Uh, practice something that you're uncomfortable with in a video game where the stakes are lower so you can get that skill gap narrowed. Get your reps in. That's the point here. So I'm getting my reps in of taking stupid risks and it's a multifaceted, one is in a game, but the other part of it is that I'm recording these stupid videos of myself because this is a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. I'm not naturally this kind of a presenter. I'm good at teaching things one-on-one, -on -one, um, so I'm told, but being in an environment like this is tremendously stressful to say the least Oh, this thing will launch me over there. Okay. Um, it's tremendously stressful to say the least. And I, uh, I can't say that I'm not suffering at least a little bit from anxiety and stress. And, you know, putting yourself out there, it's, uh, it's a lot. Um, especially when you're, when you're trying out new ideas and you have to, you know, create something that is... Well, this is a new hydrant. That was what I just learned how to use. Oh, and a battery. Excellent. 
um, uses provide temporary power. But I used two of those things. I think I would put a couple more of them in because just in case that was a cool idea. Let's hold two again. Um, yeah, so making these YouTube videos is not so easy. Uh, the content is actually not the hardest part because I'm just playing a game that I would play anyways. Um, and then I can rationalize that I'm playing it given my current life situation, which is that I'm a parent with a child and my wife is expecting. Um, I can rationalize using the time better than I might be able to otherwise because apples, let's get those apples. This is a peculiar place for an apple tree um, because uh, I can use it as a, as a teaching vehicle and a pushing myself, stretching myself vehicle. So I'm justifying the playing of this game similarly to how I would justify going to um, roll in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu because I'm testing myself in an environment with stress. So one of the most valuable parts of martial arts exercise, is there something else that's up here that I'm supposed to get? One of the most valuable assets of martial arts exercise is testing yourself in an environment with an opponent that has uh, killing intent, they call it. The person is trying to hurt you. And the reason that that is critically important is because it doesn't matter how good you are at something when you're calm and composed. What matters is how you can perform under stress. Because if someone is running after you with a giant metal rod or a baseball bat or whatever it is, and um, you're not prepared to deal with the killing intent part, um, you'll spook. And that even if you know exactly what to do, you won't be able to execute on it. So Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is brilliant in that um, the distance between, what is this? That's a pretty. Aurelian text, you cannot read it. Illiterate. This is what you get for skipping school for sword class, Link. Come on, man. Um, so the, the Brazilian jiu-jitsu brilliance of the training is that the distance between um, when you have completed a technique uh, to the extent where um, you can safely say that you win. What do I need in order to read this? Uh, you win the role or you've um, submitted the person, and where it uh, actually causes meaningful damage, there's quite a gap in that area. So you can practice um, actually, like, basically fighting, which you can't do, um, you can't do in, like, I did, um, oh, I deleted the stamp by accident. We did Wing Chun for a bunch of years, which is brilliant, by the way. Everyone should try doing Wing Chun. But, um, but the problem is that you can't full force punch somebody in a, like, like actual, the, the, this, the sparring method, I would argue, is not as, um, which one am I looking for here? I want the yellow one. The sparring method struggles, um, as does every striking sparring method because you don't have real killing intent possible because you'll like if you'll break your wrist or you will break their nose or whatever it is that you do that goes wrong. Um, and so in a video game, you can because there's the perception of stakes. Uh, oh, here's here it is because there's the perception of stakes in a video game. Uh, that perception is enough. Okay, so this is the glyph that I thought was this one, maybe. Um, this. I'm not going to take that away. The perception of stakes makes it enough that you can practice. It stresses you out. And that stress is a good thing. Because um, the stress is where you grow. One of my teachers, uh, Rabbi Tzvi Freeman, he says that or I guess he says, there were two different kinds of uh, flight that were invented, developed, whatever, by humans. And um, one is uh, lighter than air travel, which means um, like blimps, hot air balloons. 
And the other is heavier than air travel, which is airplanes. And incidentally, coincidentally, or not coincidentally, or whatever you want to say, heavier than air travel is the one that stuck. And how is it that heavier that I already got that one? How is it that heavier than air travel works? Heavier than air travel is um, that the pressure, the pressure around the wings, similarly to how one might say a diamond develops under pressure, um, the pressure around the wings is what gives you the necessary um, facility to fly. And so, so, you know, it could be said about um, life in general in many more ways is that the pressure around us is what facilitates our growth. We grow when there's a challenge. And so I'm trying to talk about this philosophical idea and glide and uh, take pictures and talk to you and be under the pressure of filming YouTube video at the same time. And I'm rather impressed with myself, frankly. And if you're not impressed, then uh, you don't know me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to say. Um, but if you made it this far, thank you. And now we're going to get our switch over here. Let's find the pool and get our next memory. Where is the part of the thing? Is that a Korok over here? This looks like a Korok. Let's get it. Nice. Okay. So now I found like, like six Korok seeds. And then we're going to look for the memory part. Um, 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 Ten points if you know that song. Oh, that's so cool. So if I block with the shield, here it is. It just pyros on its own. Let's watch the video. I'm going to get a Pomplumus Lacqua. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam shahakol nihiebid baro. All right, memory number two. Trip. Two no, nails. Is that a compliment to the switch or a criticism? <laughs> Totes my goats. Everybody has these little bean things. <gasps> Time travel! Called it. I mean, I gave a lot of options, so I don't know. That's kind of a lame name, Secret Stone. No offense. Cool. How do you define evil? What if he's just really upset at someone? Okay. How are they going to fit that into the story from the last game?
Okay. What's Link's power? Okay. That's a problem. <laughs> Buzzword. <laughs> oh, now we gotta try it. It's so big. Foreboden. Oh, well. I think we should just get a time machine. Nerd, that's what I would do. I totally relate to that. Let's not solve this problem. Let's go read. Avoid it. Avoid it. Okay, so this is letting us peer into the past, I guess. Cool. And these past people, is it, what is the relationship between these past people? Cool. Um, what is this? Is it a, a shrine? What is the relationship between these past people? I can take this off now. And uh, the bad guy, the big bad at the beginning. Okay, so let's make our way up towards Death Mountain, which was this way. And then here, wait, where was the, there's the bistro. This is where we're gonna go to the bistro. Okay, so I'm gonna go check out the bistro a little bit. We're at 17 minutes. I'm gonna cap the episode around 20 minutes, um, but I think this is all the meaningful stuff that's plot-wise we're gonna do for this episode. So if you want to come back later, you want to go get a drink, you want to go scratch your belly button, whatever floats your boat. Um, this double stick is probably not going to do super well in hot zone as I think about it. So let's go see the bistro. Can I get something under this? Is there like covering a hole maybe? <laughs> No. Okay. Oh, I love the Goron music. It's so happy. That's impossible! Whoa. He looks like a Kuma. Marbled rock roast isn't reasonable. How about this instead? Okay. That's a great name. Let hot oh, commodity go to waste. It's unforgivable. You can make up for it for bringing me a fresh marble rock roast. Now get that thing out of my sight. I'll take it. I was able to get you some. I'd clearly have done it by now. I checked into the caves past the car tracks. Just like you told me, I couldn't get anything. You know, a place that way to dangerous to island like me. <gasps> no, I probably don't want that hunk of junk. I'm letting you off the hook to get me a marbled rock roast. That's mine. Okay. Uh... To quest or not to quest? Is this thing hot? It's hot. What you eating? Urgh, he has a mustache. Marbled rock roast. Hmm. Hmm. Is this a hot spring? In the last game, hot springs would heal you. 
I think I saw some fish in there, but I don't care. Oh, here's the marbled rock roast. Oh, and he turns his eyes turn. What do they do? Interesting. Interesting. They're possessing the Gorons. Curiouser and curiouser. Get some lizards. God, this is such an awkward looking outfit. Okay. That will be useful. Let's get some more of these fireproof lizards. Because <laughs> God knows I'm not interested in spending money on clothes. I'll do exactly what we did in the Rito area and just eat my way through it. Uh, also, I never would have done that in the past either. And now that I can, oh wow, this is so bizarre. Being comfortable, just being like, yeah, I don't care. I'm just gonna create an item and not worry about expendables and consumables. Wow. Ooh, is he having a shower? Or a bath, I mean, bath? Burn to a crisp. Lava. Um, fireproof lizards with monster parts. Okay. Do I have monster parts? Let's see. Oh, and no. No. Let's see. Do I have monster parts? Do these count as monster parts? What? What uh, sort? Press Y to sort. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Okay, monster parts. Like, like stone. Let's see if this is a monster part. And then the rezod. Does that work? Well, that, that's curious looking. Oh, and I get a bottle out of it, too. Stupendous. Splendiferous. Okay, so is it better to cook more together or less? Um, hold, and then one, two, three. Let's see what happens. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, let's make one more. Um, actually, let's do like that. And then we'll do one more with two wings and see if it makes a difference. Because we're going to need a lot of these. Because presumably, this is how we are going to roll through this area. God, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, right. Now, um, here, sort. And just sort all the menus because I can. And I'll wear my snowboard pants. Oh, did I change shields? No, it was shield. And then that one, and then that one, and then that one. Okay, we're at 24 minutes. I think we're gonna call it now. So here's the question of the hour. Do we go into the hole? Do we go into the hole or do we not go into the hole? I kind of feel like I don't wanna go into the hole because I don't really care. <laughs> I don't care, I wanna just I wanna just see what happens. So we're gonna go on the road again. Can't wait to get on, back on the road again. Um, God bless you guys. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Share with your friends. Tell me about your experiences playing games for personal development, what you've grown, what games you could play. And have a wonderful day.